Today we're going to be having a look at Antec's uberest power supply ever. This is the High Current Pro 1200 watt. It is an SLI ready, yeah, duh, SLI ready, 80 plus gold certified 1200 watt power supply. So the first thing we're going to do is start ripping open the packaging and then we're going to show you the packaging. Then we're going to take off the box and then we're going to show you the product itself. Actually, I lied. Today we're going to open the box right away because I'm actually really excited to see this thing. This is from everything that I've seen pretty much the king of power supplies right now. All right, the first thing we're going to find inside is the HCP 1200 product overview. Most of the information here appears to be already on the outside of the box, so um you know, you can decide whether you want to read the documentation inside the box or the documentation outside the box. Now, Antex packaging, I have to admit, felt a little flimsy to me initially, but now I can see why they're doing that. The reason that it felt that way is because they've actually packed it using environmentally friendly cardboard. So they've gone with two double walled layers of cardboard on all sides of the power supply. It fits together like a little puzzle. So if we go ahead and pull the whole thing out, you can see that's how it goes together. And so realistically, it's going to provide adequate protection versus something like foam, but it's also a lot less damaging to the environment because it doesn't take so long to break down in a landfill or wherever else it happens to be. It's also completely recyclable, so it shouldn't end up in a landfill. I guess that's uh, an equally valid point. All right, first thing, let's do accessories. We've got the power cable, which as you can see is thick. This thing is huge. I'm just going to try and find uh, the, yes, yeah, 14 AWG, but it is a normal power cable. So it doesn't use that special connector that we saw on the Quattro 1200 OC. All right. We've got four black screws for mounting it in your case. I like those little touches. Black screws just have slightly better fit and finish overall when you're doing a really nice build than silver ones, especially if you're using a black case, which most of the high-end ones these days are. All right, in here we have some modular cables. I don't know if I mentioned already, but this power supply does have cable management or modular cables. All right, so why don't we show the, yeah, let's, no, let's show the power supply first and then we'll show the modular cables. I did want to cover some of the stuff that Antec has to say for themselves on the box here. So I'm just going to put the box back together and show you guys this side first. All right, so it has universal input. That means there's no little switch. All right, it has eight six plus two pin connectors. So that means up to four high-end graphics cards. It's uh, multi-core ready. High current output, 30 amps times eight. So it has eight 12 volt rails that are rated at 30 amps for their overcurrent protection. Mind you, I've seen this power supply tested providing up to 40 amps on one rail. So it looks like they've built in a fair bit of wiggle room for any kind of uh, improvements to hardware that make it draw more power on one rail. Like uh, say for example, even higher end graphics cards that are coming. All right, uh, oh right, 12 eight volt, okay, that's what I said. And then we've also got two eight pin power connectors. So that means that we're certified for EPS 12 volt 2.92. One of them is a four plus four and the other one is a straight eight pin. So you can run motherboards like the VGA SR2. We've got industrial grade protection, 80 millimeter PWM fan. Don't be afraid of the 80 millimeter fan. Antec actually specifically calls out on the other side of their box. The way that they have the profile set up for this fan is such that up until you hit about 50 to 60% load, it's gonna stay at like pretty much negligible 500 to 1000 RPM, that is not going to be audible. And by the time you're ramping up to the point where, I mean, remember, 50% to 60% load on this power supply is 600 to 800 watts. We're, we're talking like major, major power draws. So by the time you're actually pulling 1000 watts out of the power supply and it starts to get loud, there's probably something else in your rig that's making noise too. It's rated for continuous power, like every single Antec power supply on the market, not peak power. Although I have seen, I have actually seen firsthand experiences with this power supply pulling eight or providing 1800 watts of power. So uh, never mind continuous power 1200 watt, it can provide a lot more than that. Active power factor correction. Okay, we've got Japanese branded capacitors. We've got the uh, 
Uh, oh yeah, EUP 2010 certification, so that's pretty cool. Two eight pin CPU, I already talked about that. Hybrid cable management, talked about that. And DC to DC architecture, which is mostly interesting to uh, PSU geeks, but what it basically means is that the power for the five volt and 3.3 volt rails actually comes from the 12 volt rail just being adapted rather than having dedicated circuitry for those. It's a, it's, it is a good approach. There's a reason they put it on the side of the box. So let's see the power supply itself. It actually kind of reminds me of uh, some of their other high-end products. So the Antec logo is similar to the one you find on like the 1200 gaming case. All right, I don't know whether it's gonna be visible in your case depending on how you mount it. Yeah, probably actually. So you'll either see it this way or if you mount it the other way around in your case, you're gonna see all of those fancy specs. So actually I want the cameraman to come have a look. You can see all 12 volt rails are here. They are all rated at a maximum of 30 amps and a minimum of zero amps. You can see that the 12 volt rails combined are capable of 1,188 watts or 99 amps. And then they've actually broken out the five volt, 3.3 volt and the other sort of less important rails into a separate little chart here. We've also got the 80 plus gold certification here as well as a couple different languages for all the information that we find. All right, let's move around to the side. So you can see Antec has cleverly made it so that no matter how you mount this power supply in your case, whether it's this way or, oh no, okay. Well, it looks like Antec really intends for you to mount it this way because it's going to be right side up for your sticker. You're gonna be able to see this and you're gonna hide the sticker with all of the little random information on it on the bottom. So that's probably going to be optimal. Here at the back, we find a, oh, okay, so that's an 80 millimeter San, Sanyo Denki fan. Sanyo Denki fans are renowned for being the highest quality, especially when you're under volting. They're not gonna get any ticking or buzzing noises that are gonna be bothersome. So I would expect this power supply to be very, very quiet up until the point where the fan really starts ramping up. We've got a power switch as well as our power cable input here. And then around to the other side, we've got a grill at the front. You can actually kind of see inside. I'm gonna try and get you guys some more light to see in there. But this power supply uses a dual PCB design. So there's actually a PCB on the top of the unit as well as a PCB on the bottom of the unit. That gives them a lot more room to do soldering rather than having one PCB at the bottom. And it also allows them to effectively lay out the components internally so there's very little air resistance for the 80 mil fan. So Antec's philosophy is that with an efficient internal layout, you don't need to really pump the RPMs up on the fan in order to draw a lot of airflow through and cool the components. You can actually see clear through to the to my fingers on the other side. Can you see that through the camera? Yeah, you can. So that's why even though it's spinning at a low RPM, it's able to effectively move air through the unit. So let's have a look at the pre-attached cables and then we will go ahead and take a look at those modular cables as well. These are a bit of a challenge for me, but I'll figure it out. Yeah, there we go, okay, sorry. So the first bundle is going to have our 20 plus four pin. That is a 24 pin connector. Okay, you can see it's actually sleeved um, pretty nicely, okay. A Antec sleeving hasn't been my favorite sometimes in the past, but, uh, cause I mean, especially on the Quattro 1200, they had those, uh, those capacitors here. So they had like kind of weird, uh, lumps on all of the cables, so this is quite a bit better. All right, next we've got the 8 pin as well as the 4 plus 4 pin, so that's either dual 8 pin or single 8 pin plus 4 pin. All right, and then oh, we've got another bundle here. So it has quite a lot of pre attached cables, and I hear people criticizing that sometimes. However, I'm going to give you guys a bit of a different philosophy on uh, what I think of lots of pre-attached cables on a 1200 watt power supply, because I think it's just fine. Because if you have a 1200 watt power supply and you're not running at least a 24 pin, a single eight pin, and then, oh man, this is taking me forever to remove, I'm sorry guys. And then a couple of high-end graphics cards, so four six plus two pins, then you probably don't need a 1200 watt power supply because if you're not running two graphics cards, there's pretty much no justification for it whatsoever. So in this other bundle, we're gonna find a six plus two pin, another six plus two pin. Once again, these are fully sleeved, even the in-between lengths, okay? And then we have another six plus two pin as well as a six plus two pin. I also wanna take a second and uh, show you guys 
how Antec labels those 8 12-volt rails. So you can see that the 12-volt rail is clearly labeled on the side of the connector for these PCIe. All right, so we've got actually up to 30 amps according to the rated specification for the power supply per graphics card because every 6 plus 2 pin harness, okay, so to each, each two are actually on their own 12 volt rail. And that also goes for the modular connectors, which I'll show you in a minute. So the other pre-attached cables, once again, I don't mind this because it's only uh, three Molex. Odds are you need at least a couple Molex for any kind of build that you're doing. And then three SATA cables. So after that, we've got modular cables. And I'm gonna show you actually something that I really like about this power supply in just a moment. So the first one we got, here we go. So you can see this one's actually not labeled in terms of the 12 volt rail. You know what, I should check. Oh yeah, yeah, look, 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 even the 24 pin, as well as the uh, eight pin and the four plus four pin also have labels. And each CPU connector has its own 12 volt rail as well. All right, uh, here we go. So these are not labeled. However, they are labeled on the power supply themselves. So 12 volt seven, 12 volt eight. All right, so those are where you're going to be able to plug in up to an additional four PCIe 6 plus 2 pin connectors. So that is to say you can have four GTX 580s running off of this power supply with no sweat whatsoever. Pretty crazy. All right, so here we go. We've got a SATA connector here. We've got a SATA here. We've got SATA here. All right, let's have a look at what we got included. So. Let's say you're doing a fairly modern build, you're not running a ton of Molex devices, you have up to three more modular connectors. So you can plug in another three of these SATA cables, which each have three, so that is up to 12 SATA devices. So you could run you know, a Blu-ray drive, DVD drive, and then like a 10 drive RAID array or something directly off the power supply with zero adapters if you so desired. If you don't need so much SATA, you've also got two Molex modular cables. So Antec is giving you the option to install whatever it is that you need. One of them is three Molex, and the other one is three Molex and one floppy connector. So if you actually still need one of these, yes, they have provided one on one of the modular cables. Now, here's a really cool thing. Let's say you've only got two graphics cards, but you need all 12 SATA connectors and you need all nine, nine Molex connectors. Well, here's a neat one. You can take these ones out, and then you can go ahead and plug a Molex one into here. Look at that, bam. That simple. So that also gives you the ability to run peripherals off another 12 volt rail because the way the power supply is set up by default, okay, I'm gonna try and find you a Molex, yeah, okay, these ones aren't labeled and these aren't labeled, but all of the peripheral connectors, so the ones that are pre-attached, SATA and Molex, as well as all three of the uh, HDD labeled modular connectors are running off 12 volt four. Now remember, that's 30 amps. That's a lot for water cooling pumps, fans, hard drives, basic stuff. You'd have to have a lot of stuff hooked up in order to trip that 30 amp OCP. However, I actually recently did a build with 24 hard drives and I found when I initially booted it up, this was with a Quattro 1200 watt, when I initially booted it up, I was getting an error. The system was shutting down. And what I was able to do with that one was I had to adapt and use a different 12 volt rail to power some of the hard drives. So if you are powering like 24 hard drives and then some other stuff, Sorry about that, we reached maximum video length, which means I better finish this up pretty quick. So anyway, I had to use an adapter with that one. Suffice to say, I would have been able to just take a cable and plug it into the PCIe connector on this one, and that would have taken care of it for me by putting some of the hard drives on a separate 12 volt rail so that when they all spin up at the same time and draw a bunch of juice, it doesn't trigger the OCP. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Antec High Current Pro 1200 Watt continuous power, 80 plus gold, all that good stuff. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other awesome content.